Whew. All right. Wow, it's uh, <laughs> it's been a hell of a long time since I uh, did the recording through my Elgato. All right, so welcome. This is a playtest of Metroid Dread. I um, I played the, the previous games. Well, quite a few years ago. Um, man, Fusion was such a what a game, man! What a game! Um, and this is like the real sequel to Fusion, um, because I think the the Metroid Prime games are are a separate. Like a separate, uh, not part of the main series or something, like a spin-off or whatever you call it. Um, let's jump right in. Not sure what to expect here. Okay, adjust the brightness until the image on the left is barely visible. Okay, I mean it's yeah, that's fine. Except, I wonder how this is going to be like. Um, I I haven't because I haven't played an actual Metro Metroid game in a long time. Uh, and I'm also... We'll see how this goes, because I'm not using the, the Joy-Cons for this. I'm using the Pro Controller, or... Uh, it's the 8-bit Doe Pro 2 controller. So I'm, I'm curious to see how different it's going to feel. Oh, okay, and you can also do the melee attack in the air. That is clearly a Shozo um, structure. Let's go this way. I like the controls. Oh. Um. Okay. Um, we're going to. Can I change the controls? <laughs> Because uh, I kind of want to change the um, map controls. That's not it. Highlight icons. Select area. Uh, same as. Okay, I have the power beam. Press Y to fire or press Y rapidly to fire consecutive. No, it doesn't seem like I can do that. Anyway. While tilting to run, press ZL to slide. ZL. <laughs> oh my god, which one is that on this controller? Um... Nope, that's not it. Ah, oh, maybe I shouldn't have used this controller after all. Oh, okay, there we go. Said L. L2, okay. Hold L to free aim mode. And tilt L to aim. Oh. 
use this. Okay. Ammo. Refill. Hold R to ready missiles and Y to fire. Some blocks can be destroyed only by using specific weapons. Hold R. Oh, okay. I can't... Okay, that was unnecessary. That was really unnecessary. Okay, so that's a refill. Some destructive blocks are hidden. If you run into a dead end, try shooting at your surroundings. Oh dear. Yeah, I mean, so, so far, if I could change the controls or something, that would be nice, but otherwise I'll just have to get used to it. Uploading data. Alright. Save. Press... Um... Oh, okay, this... Um... Rumble on controls. Oh, okay. Can I? No, I can't change them. Okay. Oops. Okay. Global map. <laughs> oh man. I think the game is kind of... Um, okay, I can't open that yet. Right. Oh, <laughs> I keep pressing the wrong uh, button to slide. Oh! Use the melee counter at the right moment to parry certain attacks and automatically take aim at the attacker. Press X to use your melee counter. Okay, so you do that when they get close. Okay. At the right moment, and not the wrong moment. Yeah, I mean... It's gonna take some time getting used to. Also, I don't have a double jump, so that's something to take care of. Yeah, the, I feel like the melee counter is a little bit of a. Uh, oh, whoops. Did I just die from that? Yeah, <laughs> I did. Oh! down here. Enemies attack can counter with pressing X at the exact moment of the flash. However, the timing is extremely difficult to gauge, making this a desperate maneuver.
seems to have problems um, chasing you. Thank God for that. <sighs> what happened now? A new power? The energy from the central zone is transformed the arm cannon into an omega cannon. Oh. Omega Blaster Online. Hold L to use A mode till... Oh. Hold R to charge the Omega Blaster. Once charged, press Y. Okay, that's... <laughs> that's a big cat. Um... What the? I ran through the door and he was right there? Are you serious? Oh my god. Was that just really unlucky or. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, game, please. I seriously ran right through the door and he came. Oh dear. Wow. That's one hell of a difference in outcome. What? Omega cannon depleted and offline. Reverting to regular arm cannon. Oh. Okay. Okay, this is a probably good place to cut it off, but I, it's good to know that things are working out well. Oh, oh man, that, that, uh oh, save points do not actually refill the energy. That's good to know. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, Alright, let's, uh, can we leave from, return to main menu. Alright. Whew, wow, that was, uh... That was uh, Metroid Dread. Oh wait, options. Uh, oh, okay. That's what that is. Wow. Um, intensive game at times, but uh, interesting. So yeah, I'll, I think I'll uh, think I'll just stop here since we're not going to do a real playthrough of this game. But uh, yeah, I mean, if you enjoy this. Um, what I'm saying. But yeah, we'll, we'll be playing SMT5 when it comes out. Uh, <laughs> we'll be playing SMT5 on this. I just wanted to at least see that things were up and running, but it seems that they are. Alright. I'm gonna cut it off here and we will, uh, you know, just we'll jump back into uh, Apocalypse playthroughs and, you know, finish up the game before November or something, I hope. But yeah, thank you guys for watching, and uh, 